Hi guys, Brad Browning here and welcome to episode 8 of my Ask Brad video series. Now before I get into answering your questions, I first want to tell you how you can ask your own question. All you have to do is watch this video right here, I'll have a link in the description box below as well, and follow the instructions in that video. Basically all you need to do is like that video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below with your question. Okay, let's get to the first question of this video and the first question here is from Janet S. Janet says, hello Brad, I was in a long distance relationship for about three and a half years. We lived together for three months, but I had to move back due to a family emergency. We continued our long distance relationship, but things became more difficult. Right before I was planning to move back with him, we had a big argument and he broke up with me. It's been two and a half months since I last saw him, he hasn't contacted me, and I did reach out on three separate occasions. I'm not sure how long I should wait or what I should say if I attempt to contact him again. Is there still hope for us? I'm lost. Hi Janet, thank you so much for your question. Wow, three and a half early years in a long distance relationship, that's something else right there. Um, to be honest, I'm not surprised that this situation became difficult, and I'm not surprised that he hasn't been uh, all that responsive. I can honestly say that being apart from someone for extended periods of time for three and a half years is simply not really a relationship at all, even though you'd like to think it was. At this point in time, there's almost nothing you can say to, or do to ignite that spark again. Unfortunately, for my, my advice for you at this point is to simply move on. Through extensive no contact, he might reach out to you again, but it's a long shot, and even if he does, it'll be almost impossible to rebuild that level of attraction and love again without physical contact. So I'm sorry to say this, Janet, but my advice for you at this point is simply to move on. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, and best of luck. Okay, and the next question is from 143 I love of you, and uh, she says, My ex and I broke up about two weeks ago. We texted on and off for about a week, and then I decided to start using the no contact rule. On day one of no contact, he texted me, which I ignored. It's been a few days and he hasn't tried to contact me again. I have a feeling it's because I ignored him. A mutual friend told me he said he might want to get back together in the future. Does he miss me? And could we get back together? Thanks so much. Hi, and thank you very much for the question. And good on you for doing your research almost immediately after breaking up and I'm employing the no contact rule. By doing this, you've probably increased your chances of getting your ex back by quite a lot. Um, and it's no shock that your mutual friend told you he said he'd be open to getting back together with you in the future. However, you have to act fast here and use all of the material that I teach in my X Factor Guide ebook. To watch the video on what my X Factor program is all about, just go to breakupbrad.com. One thing you can start doing right now is to act like a scarce commodity. At this point, he probably thinks you're still into him and he probably thinks that he can have you whenever he wants. So what you need to do is reverse this thinking completely and show him that you're a highly sought after person. There are many ways you can do this. Um, one of the best is that you can, you can spend a lot of time having fun with your friends. Because once he sees you out enjoying, time, enjoying your time with your friends and you know, hanging out, being social, he'll begin to think that you don't miss him as much as he initially thought. Now I also recommend sticking to the no contact method like you've been doing, even if it seems like he may be irritated that you've been ignoring him. Um, he'll likely reach out again soon, so stay strong for now and stick to the no contact phase. And of course, as I mentioned, be sure to check out the full video on my website, breakupbrad.com. Hope that helps, and I'll thank you very much for the question. Okay, moving on to the next question, which is from Faith Newland, and Faith says, My boyfriend has recently asked for a break due to issues at work and a few misunderstandings on my part. We live on opposite sides of the world, and it's an online relationship. We've been together for 15 months and have emailed every day, phone, and have also met up. It was a truly loving relationship, however, my insecurities surfaced, I showed neediness, and he asked for a four to six week break. I have not contacted him, nor him me, and we are approaching the end of the fourth week, and it's torture. Please help me get through these last few weeks and stay positive and strong. I'm not sure how to react if he wants to continue, as I really want to, but I don't want him to take my love for granted and as a given. Okay, so hi Faith, um, thank you very much for the question. Now I've always said this, but uh, long distance relationships are extremely difficult to maintain. It's not impossible, um, but it does need consistent uh, work from both parties. And showing your um, less than desirable traits during a long distance relationship can kill it faster than you can say Brad Browning. Now I can't fully answer this question without first knowing a little bit more detail. Like for example, what issues came up at work? And uh, what misunderstandings were there that caused the drama? My recommendation is for you to give him all the space he needs and more. So don't initiate contact with him after this break, um, as torturous as it may seem. See what he says first. Uh, right now he probably thinks that he has all the power in this relationship, but you can't let him think that way. 
Um, oh, and by the way, Faith, if you want some, um, if you want to explain your deeds to your situation in more depth, all you have to do is sign up for my personal coaching program. Um, to find out more details on that, just go to breakupbrad.com slash coaching and you can register there. Sorry, I can't answer in depth uh, here in this video, Faith, but uh, thanks so much for your question. And that just about does it for episode eight of my Ask Brad video series. Thank you very much to all who submitted your questions uh, and click the link below if you'd like to uh, submit your own question. I also really appreciate your uh, likes and subscribes. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll see you next time.